Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. Why don't we get ready to dive into the Word of God? And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. You can find that in James 1 verse 4. Hilly, it is so good to have you on the podcast. I love hearing from you because you're so full of wisdom. You're so much Sorry, fun. And I just love getting to hang out with you. So that's always a, love. Always a, a bonus. It's a mutual feeling. I'm so glad. <laughs> We're going to dive straight into today's episode, James mm-hmm. 1 verse 4. But let perseverance do its complete work so that you may be complete and whole, lacking in nothing. Mm. What are your first thoughts about this? This one is, I think, a very personal verse and can go very deep very quickly and Mm -hmm. I love it in the setting of um, the verses that come just before it so I actually want to read the full kind of please do paragraph out because it just brings it to life just a little bit more and it says consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Mm. It's heavy. Yeah. But it's so encouraging. And it's so, I would say it's almost like anti cultural in yeah. the sense of like considering trials pure joy. Like, mm. do we, we don't, I don't do that. Yeah. We don't know our natural do, reaction to things. Never. We don't like being uncomfortable. We don't, it's going through hard times. We want, them taken away but Paul's like no consider it pure joy because it will develop your faith Mm. that's massive that's not an easy thing to swallow that yeah a hundred percent it's so easy to look at this verse or look at times where you've struggled and go like you know how quickly we want things to finish sometimes like let's just get this to be done let's just let this end like we don't want this to be we don't want this to go on any longer but it's kind of this understanding when you have an understanding of who God is of going, there's a reason for this season of persevering. Absolutely. There's a reason for letting this season complete and allowing it to come to its end because, you know, so often you learn things in those seasons that you didn't expect. Even in yesterday's episode, we were talking about like growth and harmony and how sometimes God allows us to go through those tough scenarios to grow us into who he needs us to be. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely not at the point of life where, I, where when things are hard, I'm like, yes, Lord. <laughs> it's great. a gift. <laughs> what a gift. Thank you. Like The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I'm definitely not at that point of my faith yet. I hope one day I can be, but mm. or at least be at the point where it's easier to get to that point. But I think that this verse just shows us that God wants us to take those challenges and to trust him with it. Yeah. And to trust that he's got it. And you know, I, I love that it kind of shows us in, in another version. It says, so don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Mm. Let it do its work in you so you can become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. Because yeah. sometimes I wonder maybe if that's why when seasons are tough, like God's kind of being like, well, just learn to be near to me in this. Take your eyes off the tough and put them on me. Mm. and allow it to be kind of changed and developed and grown and in this verse matured in that way. Yeah. Not because God wants us to go through tough times, but because he wants us to get closer to him. Yeah. And unfortunately, because we're human, sometimes it takes those rough seasons mm. to get closer. To draw close. To draw close because yeah. it's this knowledge of we actually need God. Yeah, and it's a completely different narrative, I think, to what is constantly um, regurgitated in media and online and through music and everything right now it's just like do what makes you happy strive for happiness like happiness is like everybody's one goal so to be able to sit in a trial to be able to actually sit through a hard heavy season and trust God in it is so hard because that's not our nature like our hearts are not prone to be able to consider a trial pure joy yeah. because we've been told by everything around us that our one goal should always be happiness but God actually sees beyond that like happiness is nothing if it's not rooted in knowing who God totally. is totally it's empty like it will run out and like 
God, like a good parent, has the foresight and being able to trust God in the middle of something that is so hard and utterly disappointing is so hard to do. And like it take it does take a long time. So we also need to be able to be patient with ourselves that we're not always going to be able to consider it pure joy straight away. We're not going to always be thankful for the trials straight away because in the in the midst of it, it's like really hard to be thankful for it. But it does take that time and that maturing to be like, okay, actually like this trial, like it sucks and everything in me wants it to end but it's worth it if it's gonna make me like jesus yeah and that's a that's that that's a hard sentence yeah. and it takes time to like come to that revelation i think oh 1000 percent. and i think even once you come to that revelation it's a lifetime of living that out and it's a totally. lifetime of surrendering that to god and it's a lifetime of going okay god i'm gonna do this again and i'm gonna trust you again with it because it's not easy and it's not where our brain goes and it's not where our heart even goes, to be honest. And so I think that we were talking about it before and I was saying to you that there was an episode last week yeah. um, where I spoke with Jackie and we were discussing this um, Instagram post that I saw mm. and it was this thought of how it is only in this world, it is only in this time of life, it is only here on this earth that we get to choose God and we get to choose thankfulness and we get to choose that God is above it all. And I think that what an incredible understanding to have that like when things are tough, when we do need to persevere, like that is the moment where we get to choose God. Because one day we're going to be in heaven and we're going to be worshipping and we're not going to doubt God. We won't be facing any of these trials. No, we won't <laughs> be facing those trials. We won't be doubting God. We won't be having those moments of like, you know, having of needing persevere. that endurance, right? And that perseverance. And we would just kind of came to this beautiful conclusion of like the gift, when it says consider it, you know, pure joy. The gift isn't necessarily the trial. The gift isn't the trial. Mm -hmm. The gift isn't the fact that you have to go, yes, I'm so excited about this bad situation. <laughs> the gift is that we get to trust God. Yes. Because it's the only time in our life, in, in eternity, where we get to do that. Yeah. It's the only time where we get to choose God. Yeah. So when it says consider it joy, consider it a gift, the gift is the ability to choose God in this yeah, lifetime. Yeah, the gift is how it shapes and purifies your faith yeah. in God. Like that's the gift. Like that's the outcome. That is why it can be joyous because it creates that opportunity for your faith. Your faith doesn't. Your faith it doesn't grow the same way as when there's nothing left except clinging onto God. Yeah. Like if you don't feel like you need God, it's so easy to forget to read the Bible in the morning or forget to put worship music on in the car or forget to reflect on God's goodness because life right now, it's peaceful, there's no dramas, everything's just running smoothly. But it is, and we all know it's true, but and we say it all the time, but it really is in those dark seasons where you're like, hang on, I need God. And so the joy is it's an opportunity to lean back into God and lean back into His presence. So good, Tilly. I love that. But let perseverance do its complete work so that you may be complete and whole, lacking in nothing. James 1 verse 4. Now we get this verse might not always be easy. We know that there's going to be tough times where it just doesn't make sense. But I love that thought that the gift, that the joy, it's not in the bad time. It's in the fact that we get to choose Jesus. It's in the fact that we can trust that he is good again and again hope that today's discussion encouraged you and we cannot wait to dive even deeper into the word of god with you tomorrow until then i pray you're able to find moments of joy